mas Brilliant scores and his deft touches that perhaps Mikey Sheehy will be remembered most. So let us now... There's a dangerous one. Nicely chipped up there by Mikey Sheehy and over the bar. Oh, a Mikey Sheehy chip up, reminiscent of the late party. He scored three goals against Derry in the 76 semi-final, including this one. And now to Mikey Sheehy. In the final, Kerry lost to the Dubs this time, despite some neat scores from the Austin Stacks forward. Kevin Moore and Pat hold on to him, and I mean hold on. John Egan, Dale Driscoll after him. Beating it inside to Mikey Sheehy, and Mikey passes it over the bar. He was in devastating form in the 78 Munster final and master of the hand pass. Kerry coming back very quickly, Owen Liston. Back into chair power, it was a nice return pass, and that It certainly was, but not as good as the next. Sheehy's most famous goal scored against Dublin and Paddy Cullen in the all Ireland final of that year. And Paddy Cullen. Oh dear, oh dear. Paddy Cullen. A jump. Oh, a goal in the greatest freak of all time. We were a little fortunate enough to get the free, and Paddy seems to be arguing with the referee. And uh, I just had one look up and there was, the line was on Garrett, so I had to go and I was just and, looking up for Winton, you know. And you didn't feel like arguing with anybody? No, I didn't. No, yeah. no. Sheehy's two goals and six points in the 79 final equal the all-time scoring record for a final. In 1980, Kerry made it three in a row. This time it was Russ Common who were the opposition and they felt the sting of Mikey Sheehy in the attack. In 81, Kerry were back again. It was four in a row this time and awfully were punished for not keeping a closer eye on the Austin Stacks man. Jack O'Shea. Got by Johnny. It wasn't all great memories. In the 82 final, Seamus Darby's late goal beat Kerry, not before Mikey missed a golden opportunity to wrap it up. Mikey Sheehy to take the kick. Martin Furlong in the goal. Oh, he saved it. He saved it. And he's got it out to Pat Fitzgerald. Oh, Martin, what a save. In the 86 final, Tyrone didn't find Sheehy quite as generous. At the moment, or at least for the moment there, it seemed that Tyrone were once again ready to take the initiative, but it's come to Kerry's Mikey Spillane. Mike Sheehy, Mike Sheehy gets a brilliant goal. One of his very best was in last year's Monster Final, a desperate attempt to save Kerry's bacon. Are we seconds away from history? It makes not over yet. McAuliffe missed an earlier chance. Back down. As it once again, trying to round Tony Davis. Well into injury time in the Monster Final. Mikey the captain, looking for the Kerry goal that will seal it. Is it there? Yes it is, I don't believe it. Oh, absolutely unbelievable. The great Mikey Sheehy captured in action down through the years. Well now, instead of talking about Mikey Sheehy, let's actually talk to him. Because Mikey is in our Limerick studio right now. Mikey, thank you very much for joining us on the programme this afternoon. I'm sure there'll be great disappointment down in Kerry over your decision. You were injured in a club game, Mikey, and the question is, who did it? Was it a Cork man? A Cork man. Uh, no, it was, it was a club game against Spa, a uh, county league game on Easter Sunday, Michael, and um, it was just an unfortunate thing the way it happened, I suppose. It, um, my old legs are slowing up a bit. I kind of threw my leg at a ball that I shouldn't have, and um, I was in collision with another player, and he just kind of landed awkwardly on my knee, and... The minute he made contact, I know I was in serious trouble, so I had to hobble off, and unfortunately, that's the way it happened. Yes, and the real unfortunate thing about it was, I suppose, this was your good knee this time. It was good knee. The bones are getting very brittle, but, um, yeah, and I mean, it was, it was, it was 
it was very easy for my decision to be made then because um, uh, the other leg hadn't been very sound and, the, and this was too serious even to contemplate trying anything at all, you know. Yeah. You have suffered the same kind of an injury as Pat Spillane has. Right. Yeah, it's, it's something very similar to Pat. Um, I suppose when, Pat, when Pat, Pat's happened, I think, in 82, 81, 82, and um, I suppose he had time on his side, but really, um, I, 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 from the medical advice I have got, really, there was no hope. If I contemplated even having an operation, it would take a year minimum, maybe even a year and a half or longer, and really there was no way, you know. Will you be sad to give up the game, even though you've had some great times out of it? Well, I'll tell you, you know, when, when, when I finally made a decision, her decision was nearly made for me. Um, it, it, it was still very hard to take, even though I, I must say, like, I've had a great innings and I was lucky to be part of uh, a great team and um, made some great friends and saw the world and, you know, I was lucky enough. But uh, when the crunch does come, you know, it has been, so, I suppose, part of my life for so long. It's, 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 it's a sad decision to have to make, but I said, you know, it, it had to be done. We've looked a little earlier in the programme at some of your greatest goals and scores. What are your own best memories from those great days, Mikey? Um, well, I suppose, you know, um, obviously the, the, the All-Ireland Finals and actually playing in them and I suppose scoring, scoring goals, scoring points. You know, a lot of people kind of say to you, have you any one that stands out? None, really. You know, once you score a goal in any game, but particularly in the final, it's, it's a fantastic thrill and, you know, you, 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 you relish every one of them. A lot of people, of course, will remember that goal against Paddy Cullen in 78. Oh, Paddy, yeah. Well, I was up in Dublin actually recently, so we, we had a little bit of a, uh, a get-together myself and Paddy, but uh, the goal wasn't discussed, mind you. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, Mikey, you are the first of that great team of uh, the Spillans, of Jack O'Shea, Liston, uh, Nelligan, to actually officially retire. Is this the beginning of the end? Uh, you know, I wouldn't think so. You know, like, like I mean, uh, all the rest of the lads are in there and are actually in, in hard training at the moment, you know. And um, obviously a few lads, I suppose, after the end of the year, depending on what happens during the year, would obviously be contemplating it. But as I say, I'm only speaking on my own behalf. I don't have to be getting sick when I go back down and retiring a few more of them. But at least I'd say that all the rest of the lads will all be there for the rest of the year. And um, I'd say they'll be fighting hard as well, you know. Yeah. What about the new talent coming up in Kerry? Um, I think, you know, that I think we got the wire has a few tricks up his sleeve this year. There's a few very promising newcomers, um, particularly, I think, in the forward line. There's a, there's a young guy from Carsevine, another St. Mary's man. They can always produce and down there a young guy called um, Morris Fitzgerald. And he's, I think he's as good a prospect as I've ever seen, anyway. And um, I think he's going to be a big plus, even though he's only just gone 18. And um, there's a young Gerald Murphy, um, a very good corner forward. And uh, there's a few good backs, Eamon Walsh and um, Mike Braston and... You know, you could go on. There's, there's, there's plenty of talent out of the Kingdom. Well, Mikey, your decision to retire, of course, means that they will be seeing an awful lot more of you in the Sheehy household during the summer, at least. Oh, they will, yeah. Um, well, I suppose uh, my wife will have me out gardening. I shall try it anyway. But uh, I'd say I'll be missing. But um, it was funny during the week. My small lad, well, he's six now, he said to me that um, when he heard all the hullaboo blue about packing it in, so he said... Uh, he said he was glad he heard I was packing it because I'd be around to play with him a bit more, you know. So I suppose he was he was he was telling me to cop myself on. Are you going to quit the game entirely now? Well, I'll tell you, Michael. Like as I said to you earlier on, the, the the other option would be to have an operation that was completely out, and the only other thing would be to do would be to do kind of a, a course and weight training. But I have been told really that it it may or may not stand up. I was told more than likely not, but. What I will do is I probably will be mad enough to have a go at playing a club game or two later on in the year, you know. But if you do, and come the summer, Kerry are involved in the Munster Championship, would you be tempted back, oh, even no. as a sub on the Kerry team no, against no. Cork? Not a hope, no, no. My decision is made now, and, and there's no coming back. In there. I'd be at the Munster final, all right, but it'll be sitting inside in the stand with a lot more people. Well, Mikey, on behalf of all of those people who had the pleasure of seeing you play football down through the years, we're sad to see you go from the game. I wish you a very happy retirement. Thanks, Michael. Well, now I just.